Thank you to the League of Women Voters for keeping voters informed about candidates during these difficult times. My name is Tom Paulson, and I am a candidate for the Wheaton-Warrenville Community Unit School District 200 Board of Education. I am a retired public school teacher, coach, and administrator. The last 25 years of my career was in Naperville Community Unit School District 203 as assistant principal and principal at Naperville Central High School, and finally as associate superintendent of schools. After my retirement, I served for two years as interim principal at Hinsdale Central High School, one year as director of Partners for Success, the alternative to expulsion program in DuPage County. I also served as mentor to new principals, supervisor of student teachers for the University of Illinois, and as a discipline and residency hearing officer for several area school districts. My experience as an educator, including service in a school system much like District 200 and serving a similar community, will be value added to the District 200 Board of Education. I want to serve the community in which I have lived for over 50 years, as well as the school district in which all three of my daughters were educated. In addition, after speaking to several members of the District 200 community, I want to be part of the healing process which will be necessary following the impact of the pandemic. I believe in servant leadership, which has as a core principle putting the needs of others before the needs of my own. In practice, as a school board member, this means listening to the interests of all constituents and consulting with fellow board members before making a decision. This approach will best serve all the members of the District 200 community. There are a number of issues which will need to be addressed by the new Board of Education, which will be seated in May. The healing process necessary following the pandemic has already been referenced. This process must start by the board listening to family members, staff, and others to support the administration's plans to identify learning deficits which may have occurred, as well as the social and emotional impacts of the pandemic. In observing recent Board of Education meetings, I am pleased to know the administration has already begun to develop a plan to address these needs. In addition, the board will play an important governance role as a collective bargaining agreement with the Wheaton Warrenville Education Association is negotiated with the administration. The new agreement will go into effect in July of 2022. The board will need to support and provide input to the district's ongoing efforts to address issues of equity related to facilities, programming, and staffing. This includes being sensitive to the needs of a diverse student population in terms of culture and ability level. I encourage you to visit my website at www.tpaulson.com for a more complete list of issues which will need to be addressed by the new board. The League of Women Voters has asked me as a candidate to address a very important question. What do you envision as a post-COVID education system? Because students and teachers have had to rely on technology, often in a remote setting, in order to advance learning, District 200, like all school districts, will need to study the impact of that fact. On the positive side, depending on technology, has required teachers to be highly innovative and more creative than ever about applying technology to supplement and enhance instruction. Likewise, students have become more adept and familiar with using various modes of technology to foster their own learning. The intersection of these two phenomena could propel learning and instruction forward in many positive ways. On the negative side, being absent from the classroom, especially for middle school and high school students in District 200, has developed in a number of students a sense of isolation. And with that, 
has come some negative side effects. It has long been known that a mentoring type of relationship with one or more adults outside of the family has positive impacts on student learning and social and emotional growth. The pandemic has brought out the need for this dynamic into stark relief. More than ever, District 200 needs to study how to ensure that students are connecting with adults in the system. And all adults can take on this mentoring role. Teachers, aides, custodial staff, administrators, uh, coaches, activity sponsors, office staff, school crossing guards, and others. Have you seen the Queen's Gambit? <laughs> the chess prodigy learns the game from the school custodian. That's wonderful. A school board member represents all those who live within the boundaries of a school district. The board member has the responsibility, responsibility to consider the needs and interests of those with students in the schools, those who do not have students in the schools, including those who have never had students in the schools, as well as business owners. Board members must consider themselves as stewards of the financial resources of the school district in which all residents and business owners who pay property taxes have contributed. On their part, residents and business owners must remember that the quality of a given community is significantly impacted by the quality of the schools which serve that community. Property values are one measure of that quality. The constituents to which I have referred have a vested interest in the work of a school board. They must engage and communicate with the board for their own and the community's best interests, and the Board of Education must listen. I bring experience in and a passion for public education to my candidacy for a seat on the Wheaton Warrenville Community Unit School District 200 Board of Education. I have worked for many boards of education during my career and have been impressed with the financial and educational de decisions made by the District 200 board over time. I have been particularly impressed that during the pandemic, the board, working with the administration and staff, has put the safety of students and staff first when making decisions about remote and in-person learning. District 200 is one of the very few school districts in which K-5 through students have been able to be in person with teachers since the beginning of the 2020-2021 school year. The mitigations and protocols which have been followed have limited the number of infections contracted in this setting. The district is to be commended for taking a more cautious approach with middle and high school students because of the greater difficulty in maintaining the protocols necessary to mitigate against the spread of infection at those levels. I look forward to helping the community and the school district move forward following this very difficult time. This is Tom Paulson thanking you for taking the time to be informed about my candidacy.